Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 41, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We spent the last two episodes getting some of the upgraded loot, the, the different sealed chests and boxes and things that we can now open now that we have a charged pendant. Um, I did save three of the boxes for, a, for this go-round because it is on our way to getting back onto the main quest line. So uh, we're getting ready to head over to... Is it Banger Dome? Where, where's the... Uh, no, I don't want to go to Linny Square. Uh, this one was... No, I don't want to go to Guardia Forest. This one is Truce Canyon. This is Protodome. Which I will want to go to, but not just yet. I want to go to Banger Dome. Yes. And, oh, there's the door. So what is behind door number one? The boxes. Where we got an alluring top. Oh, that's right. That is, uh, that goes for Ayla. Right? Or is that one of these things? Yep, there it is. And it boosts the success rate of charm. And as much as I'd love to leave the Rage Band on her because that extra attack each round really does add up and really does help, I'm going to go ahead and give her that because I plan on charming a bunch of stuff off of bad guys as we go through the next bit of actual quest. And with my dice rolls and percentage chances, I need all the help I can get. So, let's grab the alluring top. That didn't sound right. And what else we got? We've got a high ether. High ether. And we've got a workman's wallet. Ah, the workman's wallet. That was the item I mentioned earlier that lets you change XP to gold. So in other words, whoever has it equipped, their XP will be turned into gold. That is great when you're doing the new game plus and you get your character up to level 99 because that is as high as the levels go since uh, ain't nobody near that just yet. We'll let that one go. All right. So that is Banger Dome. And then over here in Tran Dome should be the next one. And we need to visit here anyway because it's been a little while. Got any cash? Yep. <laughs> Oh, that's right. He's our uh, market guy that's got uh, all sorts of old gear. But just keep saving up money. Someday it'll come in handy. That's what I tell myself anyway. So, oh, no. Oh, yeah. What's this? A plant, you say? What's a plant? I made it through the ruins with a cutting from the sapling that grew from that seed. Amazing what you can do when you think you're dead anyway. I've never seen a thing like this before. Remember, we grabbed the seeds the last time we were in here, and it uh, looks like now we've got some saplings growing. It's strange. Looking at that thing makes me want to keep on living. That thing edible? <laughs> You'll find out when it grows. The pennant begins to glow. And behind here we've got... Ooh, tab of some sort. Sorry, capsule. We got a magic capsule. Oh, that is nice. And we got a golden stud. That's right. Does this stud want the golden stud? The silver stud reduces magic consumption by 50% and the golden one reduces it by 75. Yes, please. Who else goes through? Ooh. I use Marley a lot for the healing, so do I, do I want the magic plus six? Or to reduce her magic point cost? I'll have to think about that one. 
because uh, Ayla would be another good candidate, except she's already got the charm top, so she won't be able to use any other one. Frog might be it. Yeah, that might be that might be a between live streams thing to start looking around and resorting the inventory, because it's going to mean going through and checking a lot of different stats. And we got a high ether, high ether. All right, so. We've brought some hope over here. Now, to get to the next place, how do I want to do this? I could fight my way through. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't really have much of a choice. That's the Bangor Dorm, Train Dome. Yeah, I'm going to have to come through here. Alright, and remember we gotta watch out for the rats, they will steal stuff, and no, there is no way to avoid them. I didn't mean to bump into you. Alright, let's finish this quick. Bam! Mop up whatever's left, ladies. Alright, I need more song references than just Ride the Lightning by Metallica or uh, ACDC's Thunderstruck, so... Uh, Put down in the comments on the video some some other options for uh, lightning themed musical numbers. <laughs> Did I miss that box? Oh nope, nope, that box was a trap. I should have known better. All right, combo, bam. Let's clear this one out, too. Nuke them all. Nuke them till they glow. Did 1,200 damage to something that's probably got, what, maybe a fifth of that? Yeah, I thought there was another rat around here. Oh, come on, guys. You don't want to do this. You don't know what you're messing with. Although you will, for just a short moment. All right. Yay, 60 XP. <laughs> that is one of the other things that we're going to have to find between uh, the end of this stream and the beginning of the next one is a good place to grind some XP. Because uh, the the happy hunting grounds in the prehistoric area uh, don't quite cut it at this particular juncture. And we need, uh, we need to get the levels up. We should be good for everything we're going to be able to get in this week. But uh, next week, we're going to need a little bit more. Okay, we're going to need a lot more. All right, let's uh, not run into a rat. There we go. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to avoid everything. Fine. I probably shouldn't have queued up the physical attacks. If I remember it, these guys were immune to physical attacks. <clears throat> Although I deeply suspect that's not going to matter. No, that's because that's not going to matter. All right. Yay, stuffs. Oh, come on. Seriously, guys. Although I suspect the Luminaire is overkill. Let's uh, hit Lightning 2 just to see if that uh, <laughs> that does the job just as well at a lower magic point cost. Because I, I am burning through it a little faster than I want to. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, honestly, I barely had Lightning 1 the, last time we were, the first time we were through here. So it shouldn't be a surprise that Lightning 2 is still kind of overkill. Hmm. 
Like so that thing kind of makes Lightning One look like you just uh, scuffled your socks on a carpet and then tap somebody. All right, to Aristome. If you remember, this is where we had to fight the mother machine to uh, to get the seed. Oh, that's right. This is everybody staring at you because you look like a hero. Hey, you're back. Wonder what kind of fruit that thing will bear. Don't worry, I won't give up. I have this child to raise and that sapling. Mommy said Daddy's somewhere far away now. Aw. Oh, it's you. Look, the seed sprouted. Since you've come, everyone seems to have regained their will to survive. It appears your energy is contagious. As long as that's all that's contagious. Can you reach the continent to the south? Oh, you can reach the continent to the south through the sewers, but I wouldn't advise it. That's where Death Peak sits, the source of all this devastation. And besides, even someone as strong as you would never stand a chance against the mutants that live down in those sewers. Why? There's an old man living in a dome he built near Death Peak. Said he wanted a moderate. Talk about crackpots. And let's get our uh, magic back. Still just as hungry. Ain't that the truth. The door of the crust. Push, pull, bash it. The thing won't budge. Oh, that's right. That was down in the pit somewhere. Uh, was that this one? No. That was this way. Maybe? I, somebody should have consulted their map first, day. Eh? Alright, let's see if we can get through this quickly. I mean, I'm not opposed to killing everything. But that's just going to take more time than I feel like taking. door down here somewhere. There we go. There's the door. The pennant begins to glow. And what do we... Oh, we got another strength capsule. Nice. And luminous robes. And an elixir. And an acuity ring. And a golden earring. Um. Oh. Uh, sorry. I think I know what that is. Give me just a second. Alright. I'll have to take care of that later. Uh. That's uh, probably not a legit chat message. All right. What was that equipment I just picked up? Uh, all right. Luminous robe. Magic defense plus five. I think I had the option to buy that from somebody recently, too. There we go. And the acuity ring... The Golden Earring boosts max hits point, which nobody has right now. The Acuity Ring bumps accuracy up by 10. Alright, the only two people who are really affected by accuracy are Marley and... Alright, so... Magic? Or Accuracy? She has more magic than anything else, so let's go to Luca. What's she got? No, she needs the speed. She's too slow. Maybe once we get, get around to passing out the capsules to everybody, that might change. Alright, so that is... 
Okay, that is everything in the dome. That is all the chests that we can reach for now. Sorry, getting to the right place on my notes for the episode. I need to stop leaning on that ominous key on the keyboard too. Alright, let's uh, get that. Oh. Go on, walk on by. No, no, walk the other way. Alright, let's finish our our way out of here. Without fighting, since that is a little bit faster. I mean, as much as I love XP and whatnot. Now. Now that we've gotten all the doors, all the chests, all the things that we can reach for the moment. It's time to continue down this way and head through the sewers. Nice thing is the last time we were in this era we went ahead and extended all the bridges that would give us uh, shortcuts. So now we can just kind of do this right here. <laughs> okay, maybe it wasn't there. Where was the exit? There it is. Saved us a trip. And we wanted to come here to the Keeper's Dome. Actually, before I do anything else, let me go ahead and save real quick. Okay. Strange <laughs> Please do not disturb my slumber. Well, okay, Mr. Strange Construct. There was an old man over here, too. Hmm. I wonder where he is. Hmm. You who have opened the door. I am Balthazar, the Guru of Reason. Also one of the purported names of the three wise men. It purported. I was cast into this era by a great disaster which befell our land. Much to my surprise, I have learned that the creature Lavos was not a product of our age. Far from it. It seems that the being fell from the sky in a bygone age, burrowing deep into the planet's core. There he began to feed upon its energy, growing ever stronger. To continue. Lavos's form was revealed briefly when he was summoned forth by a mighty wizard by the name of Magus in the year 600. In the year 1999, Lavos emerged to claim the surface. Now he has taken the place I've named Death Peak as his throne, or nest as it may well be. His miniature spawn now flow from the mountaintop, an avalanche of death. Lavos is a parasite, a parasite of gargantuan proportions, whose host is the planet itself. To be continued. <laughs> Trapped here, I endeavored to continue my study and observation of Lavos, but I believe the end draws near. Maintaining one's sanity is an endeavor in and of itself. In an age such as this, an endeavor, I fear, may be futile. So before my mind is lost forever, I have decided to leave these records of my knowledge behind, along with my greatest invention. What invention is that? You'll see... No, I'm not going to do that to you. Not this time. Ever did I long to return home and toil endlessly, in search of a way, but as I neared the completion of my research, so did I near the end of my days. I have grown old and frail, and so I leave it in your hands. You who have opened the way. Take hold the reins of time and let all the people of this planet's past and future join as one. Then, only then, 
you just may be able to stop Lavos. Only just? Wow, that's a statement of faith. You have little chance of success. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but even a little chance is still a chance. You who have opened the door, the fate of the world is in your hands. Open now the final door and claim what awaits you, my last and greatest work, the Wings of Time. But anything like a flock of seagulls? The pendant begins to glow. Hmm. Ah. What's this thing? <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Which which end do you suppose is the front? <laughs> Look, it looks like a new. Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar. I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Precious, isn't he? Anyway, there's something I need to explain, namely how to transcend time. You push a button. <laughs> Press X to display the time gauge. Then select the area you wish to visit. Ah, yes. Um. That's it? You're just gonna go to sleep? Do strange constructs dream of... news? Oh, before you go, why don't you give a name to my time machine? Eh, we'll keep the uh, default epoch. Well then, hop aboard. All aboard. We're gonna go all crazy train on this thing. Mumble, mumble. Take off. <laughs> okay, so we can head to the end of time. There we go. Now we can get back to uh, 1200. All right. Um, oh, yeah, almost forgot. We, uh, I think we missed something in one of the earlier rooms. There it is. I knew I saw one missing. It's a magic capsule. Okay, now we can book it. Okay, so he's just going to be a little recording for instructions whenever we need it. And what I'm going to do is we're going to take the we're going to take off. We're going to head over to the end of time for the moment, just to get this thing out of here into a save point before we do anything else. Ooh, one of the videos from the remastered. <laughs> Chrono's not the only one in this thing. Although I guess they couldn't do videos for every possible combination of people you could have. That's fair. Eek. This great. Fast, fast. The <laughs> Epoch is capable of this? Alright. Old man. Hey. Interesting. So he actually completed his wings of time. And at the cost of his own life, no less. Why not put those wings to good use and pay a visit to the ancient magic kingdom? Come and see me whenever you have the need. Think of me as your guide on time's road. Alright. So. Let's go ahead and do our save. 
And this is where I'm also going to uh, end the episode. So, thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. And if you haven't already, follow on Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. And definitely, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So, live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. And YouTube folks... I'll see you tomorrow.